Hello people, right, it's uh, Saturday morning still, uh, just about, and um, the 21st of October, 24th of October should I say, and I've, uh, as I said I would do on Twitter, I've been going through um, some of the currency pairs, comparing them to the dollar index. Um, I've uh, done um, D30, the DAX, I tend to do uh, cable, and um, possibly gold and uh, EJ to see how that compares with Euro but uh, I just thought I'd make this uh, quick video just to say that um, it's an exercise worth doing so if you're not aware of how to set up your charts like this literally all you do is just uh, put two charts against a side to each other and um, next to each other and you can uh, put two, four, six, whatever you want to do just by resizing the charts like that. So um, I've extended my screen as far as I can to get two of the biggest charts here and as you can see these are a mirror image of each other to the opposite. So you know here's a perfectly good um, setup here, pull back, um, bust up rather, pull back, break and close above it the RSI histo lovely great big three candle reversal on a five minute chart with uh, an engulfing candle that's the uh, penultimate that's the ultimate low that's the uh, reversal and then as you can see price is blasted up so the reason i'm looking at uh, the two because i want to find something that i can make some serious pips out of very very quickly that's what i am i'm a scalper load the trade up and uh, in and out fast so there's the opposite line and there's the opposite position in uh, Euro, exactly the same, but to the short side. Uh, penultimate, ultimate high, reversal, close below the penultimate low. And, um, oh, I have to highlight that chart first. And uh, then the move is roughly 20 pips, give or take a pip or two. So, um, you know, it's it's... It, 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 I'm speechless actually. This I've checked this right through from uh, our current date, 24th of October, through till where are we now? 22nd of September, and every chart is um, so far has corresponded in the opposite direction. The reason that's so good, in my opinion, is that it's just a, uh, sort of an added confidence booster, belt and braces. Uh, in terms of um, of uh, entering your trades, you know, if you've got two charts showing you the RSI histo momentum move, that's got to be better than one. So, uh, and then an easy visual um, effect is the moving average. This is the hourly eight MA, the coloured one. It's the all averages. Uh, I think it's V three, uh, but it's all all uh, on my YouTube channel where you can find them in Forex Factory. Um, all of my indicators are free. All of them can be found on Forex Factory. So, you know, simple, simple way to set your charts up. So you've got the colour green, colour red, you know it's right. So let's just have a quick flick through. This is roughly the American session. I've got my lines there. Then uh, flick through this one for the American session. As you can see, I haven't set this up. There's not cherry picked it. We can go fly through, let's go through a month of charts. Let's go through to the, uh, well, let's go through to the 10th of September. See what that looked like by comparison. Watch this be a complete disaster now. 10th of September. UK open, and there we are. We've got almost identical charts again. Um, to be reversal to the long side, to be reversal to the short side. Um, you know, you'll probably have the same configuration but in the op opposite direction for your, in fact, it is almost identical, the RSI histo. So, you know, uh, let's have a look at the American session. Longs, shorts, almost absolutely identical. Big bar there, big bar there, possibly news related that was. So let's pick another date at random. Let's go for, uh, I don't know, um, 
31st of August, 28th of August. See what that looks like. Not such a short video as I expected. Uh, we're running out of data on the RSI histo. Might have to see what happens there. See if it fills itself up. Doesn't matter, we should be able to see the chart anyway. What did I say? 23rd. Why has that got back to the 20? Oh, as always, it's um, messed, messed up the video. Right, I'm going to go back to the first, or the current date rather. Just have a look at that and we'll have a look at a couple of those. So, take the scroll off. Let's have a look at the 20th of October. And now on this one. Sorry about the messed up video, but you get the point, don't you? So 20th of October, almost identical in the opposite direction. 20th, 20th, double check that. Yeah, so let's have a look at the London Open. There it is there. I mean, you know, so the whole point of this is, guys, belt and braces, uh, it makes your decision easier. You often find the um, dollar index will lead, because obviously that's a basket of dollar charts, against one chart there so uh, and the beauty of it is you can use the higher time frames to get a better idea of what's going on in terms of dollar and uh, it's almost uh, it's uncanny actually how the euro is matching that I did used to trade like this years and years and years ago but that was before the RSI histo and before I was taking multiple trades every day during the day in the evening, nights, whatever, mornings, Asian sessions. I've never traded like this before in my life. Um, so uh, hopefully that's of some interest to you. So dollar index chart, get that loaded up on your currency pairs if this interests you, um, on your MetaTrader should I say, and the uh, corresponding Euro USD M5, M5, and you can trade your pants off like I have been all week this week. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.